Hey friends, let's discuss some work safety. Uh, we are to going to show you the connection, how to make the connection diagrams. Safety is everyone's responsibility, but ultimately it is not your hands. No tool by itself can guarantee your safety. It is the combination of instrument and safe work practices that gives you maximum protection. Here are a few safety tips you should follow. Work on de-energized circuits whenever possible. Use proper lockout tagout procedures. If these procedures are not in place or not in force, assume the circuit is live. On live circuits, use protective gears, use insulated tools, wear flame resistance clothing, safety glasses and insulation gloves. Remove watches or other jewelry strands on insulation material. When making voltage measurements on live circuits, hook on the ground clip first. Then make contact with the hot lead. Remove the hot lead first and then ground lead last. Hang on, rest the meter if possible. <coughs> Hang or rest the meter if possible. Try to avoid holding it in your hand to minimize possible exposure to effective effect of transient. Use a three-point test method, especially when checking this checking to see if a circuit is dead. First test a non-live circuit. Second test the target circuit. Third test a live circuit again. This verifies that your meter works properly before and after the measurement. Use old electrician trick of keeping one hand in your pocket. This lessens the chances of closed circuit across your chest and through your heart. When performing insulation and resistance tests, never connect the insulation tester to energize conductors or energize equipment and always follow the manufacturer's recommendations. Shut down the equipment to be tested by opening fuses, switches and circuit breakers. Disconnect the branch circuit conductors, grounded conductors, grounding conductors and all other equipment from the unit under test. Discharge conductor capacitance both before and after test. Some instruments may have automatic discharge function. Check for any leakage current through fuse switches and breakers on de-energized circuit. Leakage current can cause inconsistent and incorrect reading. Don't use an insulation tester in a dangerous or explosive atmosphere since instrument can generate arcing and damage condition. Use insulation rubber gloves when connecting to test lead. So these are some work at safety I've, uh, and it's a very compulsory to follow and I hope you will follow this. Thank you very much.